Hello Scorpio, thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For supportive oracle cards, I'm using Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ellen, Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. Already shuffled, let's see. Okay. <laughs> what is okay? Ten of Pentacles here. This is a relationship that you're very invested with, very, very invested with. Um, <laughs> where is this? We already shuffled these, so okay. You know what? That's weird how this is ending and how your cards are connecting. We're going to have to see how this goes. Just to say, just to shortcut this a little bit, you have a lot of good cards. Even up to the end, your cards are good. But we're ending, we're, we're heading towards the Ten of Swords, but you seem to be handling it quite well. So let's see what we're going through here. Now the Temple Path is coming in. And the Temperance card is right there with it. This seems to be telling me this is a situation that has a beginning and has an end, and you knew this getting into it. Whatever it is has a beginning and has an end. It will end at some point. The Temperance is telling me it seems like it could go on a while before it does end, but still, you are very well aware of this, that there's a beginning and there's an end. This is not going to just keep going year after year. So whatever this connection is, whoever this person is, they're not going to be in your life too much longer, and you're, you're aware of this. You seem to be knowing this, but you got the lover's card here. You love this person. Now, it doesn't mean romantic, doesn't have to mean romantic love. love. It could. It could be a very close friend. It could be a work connection where it could be somebody that you're not even attracted to, or there's no type of feeling like that at all, but you just love it when they're around. You just enjoy them being around, but... You know that this is this this connection with this person, it's it's got a timer. It's got an expiration date. You know it's gonna come to an end. You're just not sure exactly when. Now, <clears throat> I'm seeing the Queen of Swords here, kind of like um they're hoping to get more time with you, it seems like, but they're also trying to get more information from you. They seem to be looking to you for a little bit of assistance. I definitely see them looking towards you for some assistance, but them communicating quite honestly about what they need. Um, I feel like they're not asking for you any more than they need, but there is something they need from you to keep going with this situation. And I don't see you having a problem with that at all. You've got the Ace of Cups. My cup runneth over. I will give you some of my stuff. Like, here you go. I'll pour it right in there for you. You can have it. You have no problem. It's no skin off your back. You need some. I will give you some. You, you really do like this person. You very much care for this person. Giving them some, not an issue. Not an issue at all. If this is hitting with you, you're more than happy to do that. They're asking, you're giving. <laughs> now, as this keeps going forward, I'm getting at this point that the walking away is starting to show up. In the sense of like, it's almost kind of like... Um, Plans are being made for travel. It could be two to three weeks out, but it's kind of like the des you know the, the date is coming and they're letting you know I'm, this is when I'm going to leave. This is kind of like when they're letting you know how much time or about how much time is left before they have to go on. And I feel like it's a nervous moment, but you knew it was coming. And I feel like you're not you're not taking it hard. You knew it was coming and. It's almost like you're not having a bad reaction because you don't want them to feel bad. So I feel like you're, you're very much locking it inside yourself for their benefit. But it's because how much of they, you care about this person and you don't want them to feel bad about it. So you're locking up, making it just like, okay. Kind of like you knew it was coming and you're just, you're refusing to have an emotional moment about it because you don't want them to feel bad about it. You've made up your mind, this is how you're going to react and you're just not going to do that. 
You're holding strong to it too. Now, as they're telling you how much time is left here, I see them with the Two of Pentacles. They want to elongate it. They do want to elongate it. I don't feel like that's really an option, but I feel like they're trying to. They're looking at other options, things they can do to change things around. But I feel like it's very hard now. Uh, at this point, <clears throat> it's just not much time left before they have to move on, whatever that means. It could be the end of a job, end of this, end of that. We could go into a million reasons, but I feel like if this reading is hitting, you already know what it is. I don't even feel like that's a mystery at this point. I see you coming in with this Ace of Wands. You're helping them the best you can be okay with what's going on. Because I see you realizing that it's just something that has to happen. It's not like it's a negotiable. They may want to find a way to make it elongate, elongate out, but it's not really an option. So you seem to be taking that initiative to make them feel better. You're doing something to make them feel better about letting go and going on to the next situation, whatever they have to do. You're kind of saying, you know what, I understand. For some of you, I do get actually a love connection where this person is not going to be able to be with you any longer. And you're telling this person, it's almost like you're giving them permission to like let go and disconnect, that you understand and that from this point on, we're just not in that realm anymore and you get it and you're not going to let it happen again. That's how it is. You see it for what it is. And I see the two of you, once you come forward and you kick that conversation forward, you kick that action forward, this is the Ace of Wands um, after all, you're moving it forward, you're both holding to it. You're like, you know, yeah, it's time to move forward. It's time to move on. It's time to let it go. And you're both holding to that very strongly. You push it forward and say, hey, let's just let it happen so we can move on from it. We'll both be happier later once it's the dust is settled. Let's just do it. This person is out. They're out. I feel like there's a moment maybe a day or two when you have that conversation and then a day or two after that conversation though, the death card shows up on the out, the side here. This is the end. This is, we're finished. This is, there's nothing left I can do. They leave. You're not upset about it. You knew it was coming. You even understand why it's happening. You're letting it happen. And I say let it happen in the sense of like, you really don't have a choice, but you're just, you've already become, you've already gotten to, to that point where you're at peace with it. You're at peace with it. You know it's going to happen. Why fight it? It's going to happen. The Empress card shows up on your side after this. Don't get caught up in the gender, but basically what this is saying is you do miss this person, but nothing here is out of focus. I really don't even feel like there's a mystery here. You miss them. You understand what happened had to happen. Um... <laughs> what I'm getting here is like, it's kind of like your feelings just kind of letting it go. And the, the longer it goes on, the farther it goes from this moment, the easier it seems to be. You definitely do miss this person, but you're not, there's no negativity about it. And I'm seeing here, these four cards talk about the final finishing off of this energy. You're coming in with the Seven of Pentacles. You have the Angel of Love on your side. The Yin Yang is in the environment. And I feel like it's not so much about this person. It's just kind of like you looking at life like, you know, sometimes there's good and there's always a little good in the bad. And vice versa. Sometimes there's bad and there's always a little good in the bad. If I said that right. <laughs> and you're seeing, that's how you're relating to it. You're like, I'm thankful for the time I had with that person. The Seven of Pentacles is saying, you know, it's just, it's not over for you. Your heart still has to heal from the moving on from it. Even though it wasn't really bad or like you saw it coming, you made peace with it, it still has to take some time to move on from it. And what I do feel like is going to come forward, and I've seen heard this with other people, it's kind of like you're grieving the situation moving on. And this is the Ten of Swords, which I told you about in the beginning. You will have a very major upset moment where you feel completely defeated and you will completely mourn the situation. Um, it's a positive thing, ironically. <laughs> Even though it's the Ten of Swords, sometimes this is what it takes to release those emotions, to release that energy. It may be completely on your own. You might just have that moment where you're by yourself and you're very upset. 
Um, one thing I know some people do is like when they're alone in their car, they're driving in a road where nobody can see them, they might bitch out a whole situation just to vent it out. They might cry, they might scream, they might yell, but it's private to them. But once it's gone, once the energy is released, it's done and, and they can let it go. Um, basically what they're saying is even though you're seeing this, where this is going, you have a lot of love for this person and it's going to happen. At some point you will have to mourn this. At some point you will feel the de devastation. It could go down the, the line a bit before you actually feel it. They're just saying at some point you will feel it. It's because you're a very caring person. There's just really no way around it. It's, it's weird because I feel like you're doing everything, like for the people this is hitting, I feel like you're doing everything you need to do. It's just the universe saying, yes, you're doing very well. L allow yourself when this moment that comes forward, allow yourself to have this moment when it comes forward because it will finish off the experience and you'll be able to truly move on from it. But they're just letting you know you will have this moment of devastation even though it makes complete sense. And you'll be able to let it go. That Ten of Swords does feel rough to me. <laughs> it really does, but your energy is very good the whole way. It's just, it could be rough the whole way through, but it's not. It's just that one moment, and I don't feel like it lasts all too, too long. They're just saying it'll have to happen to finish it off. It will be a completion of this of the experience. I'm trying to find a way around it, but they're like, there isn't no way, there isn't a way around it. It just needs to happen. So <laughs> let's just let it happen. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.